happy Monday, guys. I had such a great weekend. I hope you did too. Um, I hope you are enjoying being at home and really staying after it, getting your stuff done. It is December 7 today, which is a very big day in my life. If you can guess why, um, let me know. You can comment in the comments on this YouTube video. I've get, been getting some comments recently from our video last week of us uh, virtual teaching. You guys seem to enjoy that. So we'll try to we'll try to mix it up, get some creativity flowing. Mrs. D'Angelis and I do our best. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys had a great weekend. And we definitely miss you um, not being in class, but we know that we are all in this together and doing the best we can. Um, let's look at our learning target today. I can define and synthesize. Does anyone know what synthesize means? It means to kind of make a conclusion or um, put together information regarding prehistory artifacts, the Ice Age, and the effects of climate in migration. So essentially what you're doing after you do your question of the day, which you should have already done, so it's first on the list, your reading guide, 2.2 through 2.3. And I talked about this last week. Remember I said, please don't do this as homework or stress about it or even start it if you don't want to. Today we are working on it um, for class. And it should not take you uh, more than this class period if you really get after it. So please work hard. Um, and then your reflection is at the end of social studies today. Okay. And I do want to quickly add that you can disregard this. It's not on your lesson, but it's on my video here. It is not due today. Um, this does need to be finished, though. It is your study guide, okay, for your test. All right. Please get it done today. Um, but it just needs to be done in the next few days here. Um, it's for, it's your study guide, okay? Um, let's see. Let's go ahead and look at the question, reading guide quick, the questions there. Just to recap, this is posted in your Google Classroom. Put your name on it. Um, please write in red ink. Remember the big ideas. We talked about this a little bit last week. Does geography determine destiny? Does anyone know what destiny means? To me, destiny is like something you may be called to do or something that just happens no matter what. Um, maybe it's because people make certain decisions throughout their life and this becomes something becomes their destiny because of all these decisions they've, they've made. Or maybe it's something that happens because no one made any decisions. It was just bound to happen. Um, but I don't think anything happens without a reason. I don't think anything happens by chance or is random or is an accident. I believe that you are on purpose. You um, are not an accident. I don't think anything that we do or anything that happens to us is an accident. So that's kind of this idea of destiny. So does geography determine destiny? Let's think about it. And which has a greater impact? The environment on people or people on the environment. All right. And we talked about climate change and ice age and all that. So please go through, use your online textbook. It is in chapter two. And just to clarify the page numbers issues, because I got a lot of emails about this, it will say at the bottom of your screen, pages one through 25. That's okay. The book pages themselves are higher. Okay, so that's why I said pages, you know, in the 30s or 40s, they're higher in the book as you scroll compared to that number at the bottom. So if you didn't notice anything about the page numbers, Disregard I said any of that, but if you were confused, that's why. Um, so go ahead and answer these questions, and this is what you're doing today. This is your lesson, and then obviously make sure you do your reflection at the end, okay? Awesome, guys. Have a great Monday, um, and hopefully you can get outside, get off those screens, and get active. Um, do something different today, all right? All right, see you guys.